Hello, my sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Cole, and I love everything home. I'm not one style, I'm all styles, uh, and if I like it, I use it. I absolutely love saying that, and y'all probably get tired of hearing me say that. Today, I wanted to kind of go around the house and just show you ways of adding character in a home. A lot of people um, think that you have to spend a lot of money to add character, but you really, really don't. You just got to think outside the box. So I'm just going to take you room by room and just little pops here and there and throughout the house. And I'm going to show you ways that I've added character. Why don't we just jump right on into today's video? Also, if you haven't, I hope you would consider uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps my little business. Let's get started. This is one area that I added some more character, actually, I, just recently. If you've been watching me, this this particular mirror was painted a gray and then whitewashed. I just recently went back with some copper rub and buff and added just pops of copper. But to, honestly, to me, it makes it look like wood. So it really matches the top of the dresser. This dresser was my best friend's. I bought this piece from her and the bed that's in that guest bedroom that I shared with you guys not long ago. I added some more plates on this wall. I just felt like it needed more. I wanted to get you up close so you could see the bronze on the mirror. But the blue plates around it just add so much character to me. And that was very, very inexpensive. So just a dresser mirror with some gray paint and some dark rub and buff. Very, very pretty. This another area in my dining room. I have this old vintage uh, high chair that I love. It just adds that little pop of whimsy and that's character that you want to add in your home. Uh, it, you know, it just it's that standout piece that people go, wow, where did you get that? I would love to repaint this. It's a little light and it just kind of blends into my walls actually. So I think I may redo this. And just to give y'all a little sneak peek, I moved this um, from the living room in here and I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous in here. There's another one of those statement pieces. Another great character. If you wanna change out your wingback chairs, SureFit has these beautiful slip covers. Now, most of you may have seen I've had the white or the creamy color on here. I thought I wanted to try something new. It doesn't go with my, it's, um, let me say that. It doesn't, it's not the exact same color, but my mother came in and she goes, oh no, I love the robin's egg blue. She, she caught it instantly. So it does have a green hue to it, but I do love the contrast. And I just layered some vintage, flower sacks on the top, and I'm just loving this added character in it's our, in our entryway. And y'all have seen me change this table out numerous times. I, I liked this table. I had it in the living room and I moved it in back in here. I love options of moving my furniture around, my poor old husband, but I wanted more wood. So I had this piece of wood on our dining room table uh, for Easter. So I moved it in here. So just a little piece of wood, you know, and on a, on a table just adds so much character and it really pops against this beautiful, and I know it's upside down, mirror that we have here. Another way I add character is by building on furniture pieces. This is just a dresser, a very small dresser. And then I just added my pieces of, uh, decor and I just layer on woods, grays, books, um, you know, doilies. So all that layer adds character. And then when you look up top, I have a wood wall that's halfway up this wall and I've got some hooks on it. And then y'all remember I had this laying on top of my mantle and I thought I need a piece of artwork above that those three hooks in the entryway. So I just put me a nail in the 
the frame that's behind it with the white trim, right? And then I hung that on top. So it gives it that layered look and adds so much character to this vignette. Another great hint to add character is just open shelving. I have always loved open shelving and just little hints of antique pieces all over the house just really adds to the charm. But open shelving is just so easy to style, simple vignettes with some, you know, pictures hanging over it if you choose. But I love this little corner. It just adds something over here. One of the things that are, is the main character piece in this room to me is this cornice over our bed. I wanted something very French country in here with the bed. Now, this is one of those sleigh beds that sit way off of the wall. And that is the main reason why I really wanted to do the cornice. And it it just turned out so pretty. I just added these curtains that you see here. Now, all my husband did was build a rectangular piece, and then I did pressure rods in it to hold my curtains. I'll tag that uh, video down below so y'all can kind of get an idea of what I'm referring to. And then the top, I just stapled my valance on the top of that. At the foot of our bed, we have my great-grandmother's. This couch is over 100 years old, and I've shown it numerous times, but it does add such character to this room. A lot of you made comments on this recently on one of my videos, and I wanted to say, don't be afraid to add elements of yourself, of your past, of your family in your home. To me, it just layers in that character that you want. This area here is definitely the character in this room. I have added and added and added to this mantle area, and it is so beautiful to me. You know, it's not everyone's cup of tea to have a lot of items all over the place, but for me, it just adds those cozy vibes. So, once again, you know, the open shelving, the clothes shelving for storage and you know just all the spaces that i can decorate and do little vignettes all over this area i absolutely love this it this area over here is full of character you've got you know the dresser piece the antique dresser you've got the um ben uh, bench seating over here so every different styles that you mix together are all the different elements so you walk into a house and the whole house has matchy, matchy, matchy furniture, as I call it. Everything matches. And it just doesn't add that care, that layering of character that I think adds to a coziness of a home. The plate holder behind me adds character. The old pictures, and for me, they're memories of my great grandmother. And then just um, a mirror, a mirror for goodness sakes. So I hope y'all got plenty of ideas off this video. I could go all over this house. You know, I have a chicken nesting box in my laundry room and I have pieces of my aunts, my great aunts, my great grandmothers, my mothers, and those are character pieces. You don't have to rip a wall out. Now you could add molding and I am planning on adding the trim in our entryway and other areas that we do not have any right now. And that does add character. And I do plan on doing that with you guys. So I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I thank you so much for joining me. And I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye guys, love y'all. You are
And you 